This is the first meeting in this uh, in implements yet. We've done only four implements. We hope to get more. Yeah. <laughs> They're supposed to be filled with implements. <laughs> <laughs> we prophesied this place would be chock a block full of implements, in fact, overflowing. Yeah. But working implements. All working. working implements. <laughs> All working. This is not an antique shed. No. Actually, there's a lot of work gone into this thing, I can tell you. Well, we are prophesying that this shed will implement change here on the... Oh, uh, it's it's change. Change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. We had a salvation. Well, he came in, I'll tell you, while we were putting the shed together, while we were flatting it, he came and he was yakking. We were sitting down talking. And um, I talked to him before and his wife was dying of cancer. I said, bring her around with you. Anyway, uh, it was about three days later, he turns up specifically to bring his wife on the block and within two minutes both of them had given their heart to the mm -hmm. Lord. Just and, and then she passed away two weeks later. <laughs> how's, how's that? Because I'd invited him to the tent years ago. Yeah. When he's on the block here. Well, he's given his heart to the Lord. Uh, his wife was so thankful. She just the peace of God came on. Mm -hmm. And they were ready for it? I mean yeah. yeah mate I talked to him, I said to him, I said, look your wife needs some help, we can pray for your wife and God can either heal her or at least she needs to get right with God. He said, oh, she, she loves God. I said, yeah, but she's got to get to know him, you know. Yeah. And, and I said, I want to introduce her. And um, I said, so bring her. Next time you're through, bring her through. Anyway, he was here and he said, I'm bringing her down. Two days time. We were working. Drives in with his uh, car. And they didn't get out of the car. He just went over to them. I opened the door. And I said to her, I said, you need Jesus in your, in your heart. I said, he's the only one who can heal you and he can totally heal you. And she said, yes, she said, I know that. She knew it in the home. And I uh, said, would you like to, to give your life to him today? She said, what does, how do I do that? I said, oh, it's simple. So, and I said, Bob, I said, you need him as much as she does. In fact, probably more with what you've been through. And he said, yes, I do. I said, well, will you pray the prayer and invite him into your life the same as he will? Yep. It was like that. Both of them, heads down. And uh, yep, tear in his eye, tear in her eye. Mm -hmm. and it was wonderful. Well, oh, rough on. Yeah, I, yeah, actually, fantastic. But God loves them all. <laughs> Not one of them. Yeah, He loves us all, every one of us. Yeah. He doesn't see any difference, I tell you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And she died. And she passed away two weeks later. She had cancer. She she been battling cancer for three years. Wow. How's that? And he'd been stalling us all. I mean, if he'd brought her earlier, I believe Bob would have yeah. done something. They get to a point where they, they want to give up, they want to go. Yeah. At least she, she went with peace in her heart. Well, she did, made total peace. In fact, the change was immediate. You could see the glory of God on her face, you know. It was just, it just changed her, totally changed her. Perfect Yeah, just worth everything. Worth everything. So this shed... That's good news. That's, that's the first salvation in it. Yeah, that's shed, wonderful. Just working on. Oh, that was just you in the shed? Yeah, just to the side there. We didn't have any cladding on, we were just yep. starting on the cladding. Yeah,